So real estate investing, there's a lot of terms that people maybe aren't aware of. So I want to talk about leverage. What does leverage mean to you? Because you're doing a lot of real estate investing. Leverage means to me, you know a megaphone? Yeah. It's leveraging your voice to a broader audience. Okay. Uh, that's what leverage means to me. It's basically taking 25 cents, using that to borrow a dollar, but that dollar makes you 35 cents, 50 cents. Now, how does that work in real estate? Because I think a lot of people are in the game in the, in the early beginnings. They want to just flip houses, right? But when you do the cash flow method, like you're, you've been doing for 19 years, right? Yeah. You can now have the opportunity for leverage. Yes. So what would you, what's the difference? What's the difference in opportunity? Uh, you know, the flipping game is just uh, today's meal plan. It's really, you know, it's kind of like going out and pulling everything out of the farm okay. and eating it today. And maybe it'll last you a week. The game of leverage is maybe eating one carrot from the farm and planting more seeds. So eventually you have so many. That's right. <laughs> so what's one, what's the first step with leverage? Because if I'm just starting out, I don't even know, all right, great, I know what it is, like Monopoly. A couple little houses become the hotel. That's right, yeah. But how do you get to that point? It's the discipline of not wanting to see all the cash in your bank, like in okay. Monopoly, where you're, when you're buying those little hotels, you may put yourself in a situation where your liquidity is low on the board, and God forbid you fall into somebody else's hotel, you can't even pay rent. Oh, wow. So it's the game of sacrifice. Interesting. So the word of the day would be sacrifice. That's right. Where did you build that muscle, though? I, I knew very early on that I wasn't going to die in a year. So you played so the long I, game. So I played the long game. The 21-year-old Anthony Lally said, at 31, huh. you're going to pat yourself on the shoulder. The 31-year-old Anthony said, at 41, you're going to pat yourself on the shoulder. So you're, oh, I'm always looking out for the Anthony yeah. that's 10 years older. Interesting. Are we going to pat ourselves soon? Or? Yeah, I did when I turned 40. 